Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something so very exciting. It's something I've been wanting to do for so long. If you have seen my, I think it was like a get ready with me slash get to know me video, you know that I have several piercings and tattoos. I started getting tattoos when I was 16 years old and I think I had four before I was even 18 and I just love them. And I know a lot of people don't love tattoos or they think they'll regret their tattoo or they think I'm gonna regret getting tattoos but I don't regret things very easily. Obviously, all of my tattoos aren't the best because I got them when I was 16 years old, but I still don't regret them, even if they don't look that great today. To me, it's like, it was a memory. I wanted to do it at the time. It brings me back to certain times, certain places, certain people, certain memories. It's just like an added memory and story to like my life. So no, I don't regret them. What are you gonna do when you're 80? That whole question. Who fucking cares you're 80 um <laughs> i think it'll be fine you only live once like live your life so today i am going to be getting a half sleeve tattoo so i've been wanting to do this like for forever this lighting it's like so dark mm, this will do hopefully the lighting's not too bad but anyways so today i'm going to be getting my half sleeve tattoo finally i've been wanting to do this forever it's time we're doing it um, i'm going to anomaly tattoo in plano texas and i'm going to raul i'll put his instagram on here somewhere but i am getting a half sleeve on this arm so i already have cecil i don't know if y'all y'all probably seen him before in pictures i named him cecil i just love him there was no rhyme or reason for getting this i just love it and then these i've had i think this one i got before i was 18 and this i got in college this is like my brother dedication tattoo i have an older brother but we're gonna be filling up this arm i had a consultation with raul like maybe like a month ago or like six weeks ago. And I kind of told him the vibe I was going for and what I wanted. I showed him some pictures, emailed him some pictures of the vibe I was going for. Basically I'm getting like a bunch of Japanese Jamaican stuff because I am half Japanese, half Jamaican. It's who I am, it makes me who I am. So yeah, I just want my sleeve to represent me basically. I haven't seen what he's drawn up so I'm kind of like anxious nervous excited to see it because hopefully it's what i envisioned if not we'll see we'll go from there i'm just really excited i'm scared as shit i'm not gonna lie because y'all i don't know what it is when i was 16 17 18 19 tattoos did not hurt me it like literally didn't hurt me at all now they hurt so bad <laughs> like as i get older it hurts more i have a big one on my hip leg area and guys, I like almost did not make it. I almost fucking died. It hurt so bad. And then this one, Cecil, he hurt pretty fucking bad. So I'm scared because I know this is gonna hurt so bad, <laughs> but I want it more than the pain that it's gonna cost me to get it. But yeah, um, what time is it? I think I need to go. My friend Jacob is gonna come with me, so I'm about to meet with him at LA Fitness because we both work out there and it's like right down the street. So we're gonna meet there and then head over to the tattoo place. It's about 30 minutes from here. So yes, I will catch you guys when we get there.
was in, um... Basketball? No, not love and basketball. The one. Yeah. Well, we know that movie has like feel good songs in it. Okay, that's your one clue. How old are they? <laughs> Small foot. Oh yeah, we have kids in the back. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. How does it feel, Leah? Um, you know, it doesn't feel great. My back's a little sore. But it actually doesn't feel bad. In comparison to the last two tattoos I got, it doesn't feel bad. <laughs> I freaking love it. The man that does the magic. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So it is actually the next day. Um I just woke up, that's why my voice is a little crazy and I look crazy, I have no makeup on, my hair is a mess, like, we'll just ignore that. Yeah, so the tattoo yesterday took about five hours and then after I ended up going to a friend's little going away thing, so I got home pretty late and I didn't feel like filming when I got home, but Raul did such a good job. I'm in like disbelief how talented he is. Like I knew he was talented because I'd seen his work before, but then when you see it in person versus like on Instagram feed, oh my god, like he's so good you guys. I, I found my guy, I found my tattoo artist in Dallas, so that's who I'll be going to from now on. But yeah, again he's at Anomaly Tattoo in Plano. Obviously I'll put all the contact information for him and the tattoo shop down below and somewhere on the screen. Yes, tattooing is a lot about how they tattoo, if it looks how you want it to look, and as far as like the artwork goes. But like for me, I like the experience as well. So I've had tattoo artists that just listen to music like in their headphones the whole time and don't speak at all, which is perfectly fine too. Like I can do my own thing. But their tattoo shop was so dope. Everyone that worked there was so nice, so funny, like so much fun. We were cracking up the whole time. My best friend went and got food and brought it back for us. We were laughing. We had the best time. So like for me, yes, the artwork is number one and most important but we had a great time a great experience I just want to emphasize how great the experience was because I feel like the experience is huge as well but anyways um, so you guys know I already had Cecil here I got this one in Tampa Florida um, by an artist named Caleb love his work as well but obviously I don't live there anymore um, so I wanted to find someone with also very clean line work that can do very 
like intricate detail because that's how this one is and I didn't want the styles to be too different. Let me see. Um, I'm obviously gonna insert some videos we took at the shop, but um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it right here. We did like a geisha, we did like a Japanese woman, and then I wanted a Jamaican woman as well. And I love the way he did the leaves there too. And the two women are looking at each other. And I wanted that because my dad's Jamaican, my mom is Japanese. So that is a representation of who I am and where I came from. So this is what we did yesterday that took about five hours. Cause if you can see it, it's very, very detailed. So yeah, it, it took a while, but I'm gonna be going back and we're gonna add some flowers to this bottom part here, um, fill in some of the spaces that you see. And I also might add a Jamaican hummingbird in this area, which is gonna hurt like a bitch, but I think it would look really nice. That's as high as I would go, it's just with the bird and all this will stay blank. But yes, this is what it's looking like. I'm freaking obsessed, I feel like it's not even complete yet, but I feel complete because I've been wanting this for so long. I would not be me without the tattoos. I don't know, maybe if you have tattoos, you kind of understand what I'm talking about. Like, I don't know, it makes me feel complete. Like I said, all my tattoos are either a representation of me and who I am, or it's just something I love. It's a memory, it's a friendship, it's a something. So yeah, they all mean a lot to me. I freaking love it. Like, I can't wait till this part's filled too. Um, also not opposed to going on the hand, but let me get my life together first before I ruin it, as people would say. <laughs> um, Raul, I love you. You're the shit, honestly. He should be like way less humble than he is. Like he just has a great time and loves tattooing, which I respect so much. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Follow your girl on Instagram. I don't have to edit things as much as a video, so a lot of time in, a lot of times Instagram knows about things first. So follow me there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I look fucking crazy. I don't know what possessed me to come on camera looking like this.